what's happening, Print Fam? It's uh, 10.06 a.m. Friday, March the 16th. Guess what day it is? In case you've been living under a rock or you just haven't been paying too, paying attention to the print life, it's the official launch date of our best damn print shop management system ever Kickstarter campaign launch. So if you haven't already, head on over there and make a contribution to help guarantee that we actually get this thing funded and built quickly. Link to the Kickstarter campaign in the description of this video. Head over there now. There are other people, maybe even in the print community, that have considered starting Kickstarter campaigns. You know, the majority of them are not successful, as far as I know. So, if this actually gets funded, then I think there would also be a really nice learning or teaching opportunity, not just, just to you guys, but to the YouTube community as a whole. So, I will be documenting it. And part of that documentation process is going to be going to the Kickstarter campaign every morning and seeing uh, what kind of progress we're making. Day one, uh, and we are 8% funded, ladies and gentlemen. That is $2,119 pledged with 12 backers. And we got 34 days to go. It's very hard to predict what's going to happen with a, something like this, right? I mean, ultimately, I'm asking motherfuckers for money. It's going to move forward regardless. It is going to get built, but I'm just super impatient because I'm not throwing any more money into the existing site. It's all going to the new one, you know, and they're in the middle of just like developing the databases right now. They're assembling those. Uh, but it's going to be a long time before I can use it if we don't get funded. Jesse did get that rubber up and he somewhat mopped but you can see that rubber's been sitting here so long it like pulled the paint off of the carpet or off of the carpet yeah that's clearly carpet it pulled the paint off the carpet as far as the agenda today we have a handful of jobs but nothing nothing major man let me see here an art file for one of our clients i got the wrong goddamn mock-up in there so let's fix that right quick all right, I got that uh, art file uploaded to my client's account, so now they can actually approve the invoices and we can move on, actually get started on them. Well, I just got off the phone with Rick and the, the whole agenda from when I originally started the YouTube channel is slowly starting to happen where clients are coming to me from the channel as opposed to just other screen printers so that's it it's a nice little bonus granted it took uh over a year's worth of daily work to get that to happen but maybe if it you know a few more clients come from it every time then eventually it will it will pay off in that avenue as well so the rule of the world shirts that we've been doing over the course of the last 10 days shipped out uh we have a bunch of jobs, orders, and shit that have showed up. They're here. We got to do them. But actually, you know what? Hang on. As long as the shirts show up today, which they have. Here they are. I was so busy in the office doing silly office shit, I didn't realize that we had our shirt delivery. So as soon as Jesse gets here, he will actually start printing that instead, which changes my agenda. That means that I will start liquid taping those new 248 thread screens. That's pretty much the only thing on my agenda today, is get that done. Another thing that happened, this came in yesterday, and I, I vlogged about it, but I didn't edit that vlog because I finished up the client project vlog for yesterday, so like I don't even know if I'm gonna do that vlog, but I did talk about it in yesterday's vlog, but in case I don't upload yesterday's vlog, then we got this dip tank in. This just came in the mail for me. Um, I've been trying desperately to increase the speed of our screen making process and I got an idea. We're gonna try it. Oh shit, look. To make draining this thing less of a nightmare, I'm gonna have my dude Ted, who happens to be a fabricator. He's just gonna make me, can't see myself, he's gonna make me a couple of stands to raise it up. Put it on casters so that it's a little more mobile. You get the idea. And I'm actually going to do a dedicated video on it because y'all know that I've been just trying to cut or to increase our efficiency, especially over here in this area. Um, and we have an older 
fucking dip tank here that only holds two screens, so I needed to upgrade that, obviously, so we could throw more screens in there. Then I have this plan to use a few more for other stages, and I'll go over that in future videos. Shout out to Grizzly Wheeler, because it was technically, he's the one that kind of put me on game to this, and I was just like, hmm, it's a good idea. I'm gonna go ahead and steal it from you. Just got a call from Jesse. His car broke down. He drives an Astro van. So, been there, done that. I'll tell you what I want to do today. I have that white melanin. Melanin? Melanin. Yeah, I'm going to put the melanin on the thing. Going to put the melanin on the top of this ink station so that we can finally wipe this shit down. Because look at this. That putting that surface on the ink station is my one and only shop goal for today. <laughs> that package is scheduled for pickup by UPS. Now I can start tackling this thing. So I'm gonna clear the ink out, get some measurements, and then go cut the mill. See, it's in pretty good shape. That's because we put the boards over it to cover these shelves because they're, they're not super expensive, but they cost money, so we might as well do our best to protect them. I'm gonna get a measurement, then I'll make some cuts. All right, gotta cut it 23 and a quarter inches wide. Oh, need a saw. Didn't take much, but now we have a nice, smooth, clean surface that should be easy to wipe up, at least for a little while. I got fucking pain in my eye, dude. I wonder if it's looking at the computer screen so much lately. I keep forgetting to turn the camera on when the clients show up, but also sometimes you don't want to make them uncomfortable. But my dudes. Keem is the one on the thing they from Bird City Grind. They're placing their second order with me today. I'll do I'll do a feature of them on the day we actually do the print. So this won't be the weekly feature, but it'll be I will make sure to shout them out when we're actually on press doing the print. Yeah! Guess what guys? Uh, I just went to YouTube and looked at my subscriber count and guess what? Eight thousand baby! Two more and we're gonna do some kind of crazy celebration. The goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers. When we do, I have one of these, okay? This is a basically brand new Vastex uh, one, V1000. I think this is the six color single station model. It's pretty easily upgraded. They're great for live event printing. Oh, and you can also use it for a small shop, a home studio, whatever. The contest will be held and the winner of that contest is gonna get this bad boy shipped to them. The print heads and all that stuff aren't on it right now or the pallets, but Believe me, they're there. It also comes with a youth and an adult plaid. I've been in the industry for 10 years and I still call it platen sometimes and palette sometimes. 